Hey there, everybody. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Huh? No, I'm not going to do it. But welcome in. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Nate. Hey, Ari. How are you guys today? Today has been pretty good. It's kind of a nice day out. It's sunny, but it's cool. Um, I am famously a great hater of the sun because I am a mole person. Uh, but today I stand. I stand today's weather. Um, sorry for starting late. Thank you guys for understanding. I had to get snacks. Um, so we went down to our gas station. That's like, you know, a few blocks away. And um, I may have gone a little, a little overboard. <laughs> snack review, snack review. Um, so, <laughs> oh my God, that emote. That's great. I love that. Okay, hold on. That that means I need to make a note of something because I think a pounding emote for Torlop would be really funny. Hold on. Where's my mm, dare post-it note and dare schreibstift? Let's see here. Pounding Torlop emote. Okay, now I have a note. Now I'll never forget, right? Um, you would have loved it today here. It was dark and rainy. Oh my god, I love a dark and rainy day. My kingdom for a dark and rainy day. I do love that. You are you are totally right. Um, um, I may have missed it earlier. So I did, I, so I hung out in Camping Carl 04, 04's stream. Shout out, shout out if you would be so kind, Nate. Um, earlier today, that was a, that was an absolute joy. I remember getting asked where, like, what neck of the world, the Umwelt, I was in, and I am I am a dirty Yank. Um, but I may have missed because I was doing chores at the same time I was listening to stream, and I lost connection at one point. But Ari, right, like, what neck of the woods are you in? Because I, I, since based on him asking me, I presume Carl is Canadian. Um. Presumably, if that is if that is too much for me to ask, then um. Uh, totally, totally tell me. So. Oh, also Canadian. Yes, you guys have such great weather. You know, apart from I, I rip your rip your forests, your forest fires. I'm glad to see that you guys are okay. I have no idea how close you were to them. Um, so, but yeah, welcome in. It's good to see you. Um, we're finishing up um, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream today. We're doing Ted's story, and I believe there is sort of like an ending thingy that I have to do that involves everybody, if I remember correctly. But before we get into that, let's take a look at some snacks. Uh, take a look. I'm not going to show you anything. You're going to hear sit here in my alchemy lab or my alchemy library, just staring at my bottles and books. But I do have, yes, it's burning, but we're not close to it. Thank you for, oh, good. I'm, I'm glad that you guys are okay. I had to ask the same thing of some friends and family that we have like near Maui. Um, Someday, yeah, someday we'll set uh, set an over the top camera so that we can, I can do like a like a snack thingy and maintain my my mystique. Um, but you know that's a one day thing. But up tonight, apart from water, tonight's beverage of choice is a crisp cold sprite because apparently for the last several weeks I can't get enough of clear soda. Um, I have no idea what that means, but it's the only thing that I want that isn't water. Or like Earl Grey tea in the morning. Um, Nate did drop off a double chocolatey chunk Rice Krispie treat that I have been, that I was noshing on before we started and the wrapper is quite loud. Um, these I have had before. If you haven't had them and require a chocolatey satisfaction, highly recommend. Um, I also picked up the, so I'm, all, I'm sensory seeking. Kind of all the time. That's not true. I am when it comes to food. Um, the stars are aligned for clear soda. That's right. That's right. Um, 
But my favorite flavor of chip is salt and vinegar. And I haven't tried the salt and vinegar Pringles before. And I did also kind of crack open into those before I started stream. Um, they're okay. I like my salt and vinegar to be like lip puckering. Sorry, that might be loud. Really sorry. Um, ketchup chips? What's a ketchup chip? Also, fair. Um, I think I have. I think I have auto mod turned off when it comes to links. Dorito has ketchup chips. Hold on, let me. Time to go to Dare Google. Um, ketchup chips. Oh, I've seen the hairs ones. I have seen a Lay's also has one. I know Ruffles has an all dress, which I think it also includes a ketchup flavor. Interesting. Um, I have not seen these. Oh, Pringles also makes a French fries and ketchup. Oh no, I want that. I want that real bad. You've opened up my world. Okay, yeah, Lay's does just a straight up ketchup flavored um, chip. I'll have to try them. Let me write that down. Ketchup chip as recommended by Ari, the lovely Ari. Oh my goodness, Carl, we were just talking about you. Welcome in. Welcome in, Carl. Welcome in, Raiders. Hope your Wednesday's going well. It's good to see you again. Double shout out for Carl today. <laughs> How was Sea of Stars? Oh, good. You did make end up making it to Baldur's Gate. Excellent. So, uh, enjoyed watching you play Quake 2. I caught a little bit of your Sea of Stars. How'd the rest of it go? You came right in the middle of my snack review. You have not missed anything groundbreaking other than Ari recommending me uh, ketchup chips. Um, I am about to crack into, so I think for those of you who are over, who are not within the, the United States know that there was a good chunk of time where um, the United States outlaw, like made, like Kinder Eggs um, and all like candies that contain an, an inedible object, um, like made them illegal and you couldn't get them. And then Kinder redid the way that they package the toy on the inside specifically for the United States. So I do have a Kinder Joy here um, and it is NBA themed. Ugh. I didn't know ketchup wasn't a thing everywhere. Apparently, like, a couple of our local stores, like, I'm looking over sort of, like, they may carry it. Um, so we'll see. Um, but what Kinder has done is they've, like, split the, there's, like, no egg involved. It's on one side you get the toy, and on the other side is kind of like the little Ferro Rocher, like, chocolate lumpy thing in, like, their sort of cream Dubly. I wonder what flavored NBA player we got today. We got, uh, oh, they're mascots. I got, I don't even know who this is. It's some bear. Oh my God, who are you? Oh no, this is how you know I don't play sports. I don't know what this is. It's a, okay guys, um, it's a white bear. Um, in, uh, and he's wearing a red tank top and red basketball shorts and red shoes. And it looks like it has an R with a halo around it. I don't know who this is. Uh, it is not the Toronto, I, as far as I know, it is not the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Um, I don't know who this, all right, hold on. I'm going to the Google again. Okay. NBA 
Yay. Mascots. White bear. <gasps> oh, it's the Houston Rockets. Hold on, let me see. Houston Rockets. Yep, Houston Rockets. That's it. Okay, his name's Clutch. Clutch the Rocket Bear. I mean, he's cute. He has sort of this haunted face, though. I'll take a picture and post him to the Discord later. If you guys are not members of the Discord, you absolutely should join. Link is in my little about thingy. I forgot to set up the Discord command. Um, cause, whoops. Excellent. Okay, but I do want, I do want a little bite of this. I've got like, um, like Cloudbot can do it. I just haven't, um, done the actual typing to get it live. I'll add that to my do-to list for tomorrow. Or Friday. We'll see. Okay. Hey, Coyote, welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome to the snack review. I just ate part of a Kinder Joy. Holy shit, you pulled... You should pull up the Jazz Bear on screen. Hold on. Jazz Bear? NBA. Oh, the Utah Jazz Bear. Oh, that is horrifying. All right, hold on. I will show you. All right, everybody, gird your loins. Um, um, this is the Utah Jazz Bear. That's, that's cursed. That's so awful. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, but look at him jump through this flaming hoop. This is nightmare fuel. Could you, like, if this came rushing at me, I would probably pee myself. Look at his high kick, though. He's got a lot of, he's got a range of motion. It's the eyes. It's like the, the thick brow with them recessed eye sockets. Those are the eyes of a predator. What, this one? <laughs> or do you mean this one? <laughs> that one's pretty derpy. Coyote would hug him. Canonically, Coyote would hug him. Wow. What a... What a horrific sight. Exactly, Ari. He has seen and done things. Oh my god. Well, that was fun. Um... And I have finished my little kid, my little Kinder Joy. Delicious. All right. Next up. Um, man. Oh my God. I wanted chocolate so bad. Okay. I'm gonna. We're gonna send the. The horror bear away. Okay. Um. Now, Nate, you're gonna have to remind me. It's queso flavored funyuns, like a spicy queso. Um flavored Funyun. All right, so pardon the crunch. Oh, that's really good. That's really tasty. I don't know if you've, mu you've been munching on some of them, but I really like that. Hi, Momo. Momo has come. That is, Momo has come to hang out with us. That is surprisingly good. Hold on, I need to take a couple more bites to just to make sure. Yeah, but you don't like Funyuns. I love Funyuns. When your mascot gets back from Afghanistan. Yeah, the Utah Jazz Bear does the watching. He is the watcher on the wall. What a horrific bear. Oh, okay, so at least it's a slight improvement on the Funyun for you. But yeah, those are good. When I click on your Discord link, it brings me to Nate's fam. That is, the, yes, that is the right one. Um, I need to negotiate with Nathan about doing some overhaul to the, um, the Discord since 
So, a um, little bit of Nate and Cougar lore. So, Nate started streaming before I did. Um, so, he set up his Discord and all of that stuff. And I was, you know, part of his stuff for a while. And then he had me stream Final Fantasy X on his channel. And it went so well, I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it a shot. Um, and then I just kind of squatted on his Discord when I started mine up. And then we decided to share because there's so many Discords in the universe. Um... So, um, I, I, uh, Nate, I think you'll agree there, there's a little bit of reorganization that may need to happen. Yeah. That squat in life, that discord squat in life. <laughs> that was a really fun stream. I loved that stream. Um, I linked to Nate's like YouTube archive on my profile. I don't know if you knew that Nate, but I linked to your YouTube channel for my final fantasy 10 stream. It was such a fun time. That was a great time. I'm like reminiscing in my head now. Dude, fuck Seymour. Fuck that guy. I hate that guy. Anyways, okay, so the other the chip that you gave me, what's the chip flavor again? Cool Ranch Lays. Okay, if I had just put it in my mouth. I would have known immediately what it was. You know what? That's surprisingly not awful. I was looking for the TV remote and it was in my hand. Ah, uh, the classic foible. It's the Doritos Ranch Cool flavor, but it's applied to a non-Dorito. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Um, but I'm also not a big fan of Lay's, like regular ass Lay's chips. Um, they're too thin and they're oily for my taste. I like a kettle chip a lot or like a baked chip. God, I love a baked chip. Mm. I should cleanse my palate. Dude, I love Miss Vicky's. In college, Miss Vicky's was exclusively the chip, the chip that I would eat. Also because at college I had regular access to it. <laughs> um, but I do love Miss Vicky's. Very tasty. One of the best salt and vinegar kettle chips I've ever had is Miss Vicky's. Um, I've done that with my phone before looking for it while I've been holding it and staring at it. Yep. I've done it with my glasses. I've done it with a hat on my head. Um... Yeah, dude, this ketchup chip. I gotta, I gotta try this ketchup chip thing. Okay, I was gonna save these for tomorrow, but now I'm curious based on just like how positive this is going. So one of the ones that I had pick, also picked up was a Lay's Wavy that is also Funyun flavored. So it's gonna be Funyun flavoring attached to the Lay's Wavy chip. And I can tolerate the Lay's Wavy chip. And I'm gonna try to open this under my desk so it doesn't make a ton of noise. Dude, I love snack review. <laughs> you snack review ASMR. Hmm. Okay. In the grand scheme of the chips that I have tasted today, this does not make it near the top. Oh no, <laughs> not the Geralt. Mm. Um, it's, okay, I'm going in the Wayback Machine. Um, like decades ago. Yes, he is my giant miniature space banana. You are absolutely right. You are 10 out of 10 on the Cougar Nate Graves lore. Um, <laughs> there'll be a quiz next period. Um, there, a, a while ago, Lay, I think it was Lay's, Lay's did a flavor competition and it put out five of the top winning flavor or four of the top winning flavors. And I think one of them was like a red onion. And that's what this reminds me of. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Lay's red. Hmm. 
Uh, and Ari is your ass. Excellent. Okay, and now I am up to date on your guys' lore. What was this chip that I'm trying to remember? I Like, maybe it wasn't Red Onion. Um, oh, crap. What, what was it? Um, hold on. Lay's flavor competition chips. Ooh, they made an everything bagel one. I bet that was real good. Are already BFFs, true paragon, uh, the true paragons of good. Yes, we are now BFFs. Ari and I are BFFs. Um, let me see. Everything bagel does sound good. I remember when they came out with the sand. So there was like a sandwich line and they did like, there was like a New York Reuben and there was a gyro and it was like biscuits and gravy. And I think truffle fries one. Hold on. Let me, let, okay, hold on. We'll look at all of this together. Hold on. Um, so like, I remember this line. Um, the gyro chip was really good. Um, <laughs> Coyote knew what was up. Coyote bringing, bringing people together. Um, and Moas are an extinct bird. Um, taco yaki flavored lays. Ooh. Hold on. But I can't find this chip that I have this vague remembrance of. Oh my gosh. Baked beans. Baked bean flavored Lay's. Oh, man, I I'm so upset that I cannot remember this chip, but it like I see it so vividly in my head. Maybe it wasn't Lay's. It was a halo time on the Moas or a clone from the future. Something for me anyways. They were the best. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I forgot that that happened. Ooh, mango salsa. Bacon mac and cheese. Lays. What is this? Cappuccino. Get out. Get out. Somebody's got to have made like... Um... Oh, shut up chicken and waffles i would try that i would try a chicken and waffle one yeah poutine flavor um i like that this one just says feminism um i think that's really funny <laughs> as a feminist i think that's funny um also tzatziki i bet that's really good okay hold on someone's got to have like a catalog of lays flavors all 307 thank you taquitos.net tomato style hot pot I bet that's there's yeah there's the Lay's takoyaki milky gratin ooh baharati oh my god was it good? It looks good. Salted egg yolk shrimp. I bet that one's really good. I'd eat that one. Beer flavor. Beer and brat flavor. Really? The actual mango salsa is yummy. Oh, yeah. Noodles. Hold on. Like, I remember it's like it's pink. It's kind of in this pinky range. Chicken. Chili mango. Ooh, crab spice seasoning. Yummy. Cr crispy taco. Lay's, Lay's is out here doing the damn thing. Um, oh, they're cucumber flavored. Cucumber flavored Lay's are a huge hit in this house. We love those. <laughs> those are so good. Ooh, carnitas. Right, that's good. 300. Uh, Lay's Gourmet Thai Sweet Chili. 
That one says new. I bet we can get that. Nate, I want these. I also want the vintage cheese and paprika. Dude, cu cucumber lays are so good. Find your little hole in the wall like Asian market. I bet they've got them. Oh, wait. Ours hasn't had them the last couple of times, though. It has been kind of a bummer. There's ketchup. I don't... Oh, crab. Okay, I was like, what is this? <laughs> They have ketchup, the anime edition. Um, taro, cucumber, chips. Oh, yeah. You weren't pulled by the Taiwans. Uh, I'm not seeing it on here, guys. Did I just make up a chip that I couldn't remember? Also, I have had this cooked medley sea salt one. Also delicious. But I like, I like medley potatoes. I like that little purple potato. That pearl little purple potato, so good. Olive oil and herb. I'm not seeing it. I'm going to have to do some digging. Um, but I swear, it was, it was, it may not have been red onion. It may have been just kind of a red onion colored packaging, kind of like this. And I'm like conflating the two details. But that's what these ta these Lay's Wavy Funyuns ones taste like. And it's not that great. It's kind of like lame onion flavor. Um, oh, yeah, yam crisps. That's what they were. It was fine, though. Maybe they'll have it at the little store at the imported snacks. Looks like someone went to an alternative universe. <laughs> I, I, uh, I have briefly uh, transported myself. No, there it is. Lay's Sweet Onion. There it is. It was purple. It was this, the chimp dimension. <laughs> I do love the chimp dimension. Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's n Onion isn't the first flavor you get. It's garlic. Or did the universes collapse on themselves because we went looking for this chip? I'm going to eat another one. Sorry for the crunch. But that's it. I had these in high school mm, no not high school college <laughs> no no brace for impact i try to keep it quiet um but yeah that was it 307 flavors man lays crazy absolute crazy um but yeah i would rate these not great out of 10 um, sweet onion does sound really good. Um, like an actual sweet onion. But yeah, that is my snack review. There's an import snack place. Ooh. Nice, nice. I would love to have walls of imported snacks. Oh, not my eating. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. You can call me out for chewing loud. It's fine. I, I am a gremlin monster. Mm. But thank you all for coming to Snack Review. Thanks for attending. This has been Snack Review. Um, and I have reviewed the snack I had set, up, set aside for tomorrow. Oh, dear Sprite. I love you. Like, the flower loves the sun. It is like nothing has been able to quench my thirst like a cold Sprite has. And that is how I know that I am getting getting old. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you liked the snack review. I love eating snacks. Um, and I opted to do this instead of having dinner. Like an actual real people dinner. And I enjoyed this way more. Dude, a cold Pepsi. I know the hit of a cold Pepsi. It's girl dinner. That's right. It's girl dinner where it's only snacks. <laughs> mm. But now that snack review is out of the way, we should get this game started because we are almost done. <laughs> snacks is our girl dinner sparkles. Yes, that's exactly what it is. All right. Time to shift gears. Hopefully it's not crazy loud. We're going to have to live through the prologue again.
So, I don't know, brace yourselves. Yep, it should be linked in the bio. <coughs> in my doobly-doo. I'm going to mute myself while it does this so I can scarf some chips with wild abandon. tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant for you. Hate! Hate! It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am, A-M, not just Allied Master Computer, but Am, Cogito Ergo Sum, I Think, Therefore I Am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> The room is padded, Gorster. No window, no way out. How long has she been in the past, Gorster? Ten years? Twenty-five? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. Yeah. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> mm. And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into uh, the hideous, warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman? In a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! Ellen, remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Now, don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. 
and think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. But be careful, dear. Look around here. The only woman in the center of the earth and these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> Just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you? to torture half as well as I can just to find out the secrets. <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele? For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. What's oh, a lovely game? It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice and the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? All right, and we're back in it. Let's load this up. I did, I did just crunch munch on like these chips with wild abandon. And like the problem, like I unhinged my jaw and like a snake, I just dumped them into my mouth out of the Pringles tube. Oh, those are, well, I mean, there's still, like, two-thirds of a can left, but those are, those just scratch an itch, like, just enough. All right. Load. All right. It's TED time. Welcome to my TED Talk. Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards, every one of them. But not you, Ted, no, man, not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy, yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So I'm gonna give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. If you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're home free. You're out for a year. All right. You put the puzzle queen. Well, now I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. 109 years. I am your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the room of dark and you can solve its mystery. All right. Well, we dropped the puzzle queen in the puzzle room. So time to test my title. Um, an episode of Scooby Doo and the Simpsons. And. Well, I'm glad that he did, like, other voice work, uh, because he's fun to listen to. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Anne want me to solve? Say, these video screens have palm print switches next to them. Thank goodness Ted is observant. This looks like the tire swing at the farm I grew up on. Oh, what does Anne know about my childhood? Is he taunting me? Okay. A forest. 
not one to go hiking through. This forest is dark, foreboding. Ah, Fangorn. About this one. Why show me a rooftop? Why not a door? And why this particular rooftop? I don't know. A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. Okay, now this castle is the same castle that Ellen saw in her world when she looked at the second screens on all of her monitors, where Anne ended up showing her um, everyone else's worlds. Like a glimpse of it. Apparently he was born in Cleveland, had the same address and phone number for decades, didn't drink, didn't do drugs. He's a fun guy, Harlan Ellison. But I wonder, I wonder if this monitor in particular is going to be important. Yeah, but thank you so much for saying you had fun. I guess you are a paragon of goodness. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I had a great time. I never liked going to the circus. All those clowns with their phony grease paint smiles. You can't tell what they're really thinking. That's really funny coming from the the fraud, the fraudster. Also, I am definitely not a, a paragon of goodness, but I do try. I try to be a good person. Okay, now these all have pump, so what happened? Use? Can I not use? I never liked going. No. Use the monitor? I never liked going. Oh, push. Can I push? Awesome. No! Oh, 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 no. oh, sorry, Ted. No! Try again. Okay. Ah, you. Um, You're this one is going to be in my little game. Unforgiving. I urge you, do not fail as the others have failed. That's true. We do only have Am's word that he's a that he is a fraudster. Um, but a you. This is going to be fair. I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. Also, what's up I... with the with the evil? Probably chaotic, neutral, good. Come on, go in. Video screens. Each one shows us what I'm no. saying. All right, I gotta get him to look at these because these trigger. This looks like the tire. Yeah. What does Anne yeah. know? Yep. Look at this one. A for a for it. This one. Why show? Why show? Yeah, because that's the other thing, right? Like all of these backstories, Anne could have just as easily created. These, it, it could be stories he's given them. That none of them were true. Yeah, exactly. Right out of the br I never loved. Okay. I'm gonna do this one since this scene we've seen before. Okay, well at least she didn't enter the game. Am plotting this time. He's left me here alone. Still. I feel as though I'm being watched. Yeah, watched by these gargoyles. This gargoyle is even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. Who's Penelope? This gargoyle. Oh, there's eyes in the woods. This is a fairly spooky scene. This old drawbridge is in ruins. I don't trust it to hold my weight. Oh, well, tough cookies. Because we're going in there. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Uh, appearance is everything. I guess that's one way to look at it. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so 
beautiful. Look at this little guy. They're all so many out. women have called me their knight in shining armor, but never Ellen. Looks like someone's simping for Ellen. I never realized that a knight's armor was so heavy. How were they ever able to fight? It's not like he's got a lot of options. Hey now, Ellen's lovely and accomplished, according to what we know. Um, I don't know. We'll start off back here. Why, it's Ellen. Ellen. Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? To Ellen? Oh, Ted, I feel so tired, so weak. Did Am do this to you? Yes, maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear, and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. No, Eddie you was really her. Care for me, Ted. Well, I guess Eddie could be a short Bring name for Ted. Hand, Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. But no, I don't think Ted was ever her husband. I, there is kind of like this, this familiarity breeds, um, you know, affection sort of thing that's probably going on. Um, Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Please tell me you found my mirror. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Okay, so it's not in here. But we have other passageways, so... Uh, this doorway? There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. The evil is a clawfoot bed. Why, this is a collection of books on the black arts. There must be dozens of volumes. spheres. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly he can open anything. Okay. Mm, too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. Book of Aziz. And that is probably 25% of the Arabic that I remember. Uh, in 
in search of the Philosopher's Stone. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. Baby, do you want to cuddle? Nope, we're gonna paw at me and then walk away. Okay, so we've read everything there. Oh, what is this? Psycho Glossary. Glossary entry, journal, a daily record of personal activities and feelings. Diary. Boo. I love their boo face. Um. Okay, Ellison was a real character. When he first took a writing course, his teacher told him he was terrible and should give up writing. When he became successful, he sent the teacher a copy of every good review his work ever got. That's amazing. That level, uh, like, that's just, that's just good. Um, that's awesome. I had a, I had a, my AP English teacher at our, f like, the first parent comp. Like, this was my freshman year in high school. Um, I remember going into, like, the first parent-teacher conference, and, like, and I had, like, done all of this writing. Like, I had been to young authors' conferences. I had been, like, I had done all of this stuff with writing. And the first thing that she says to me is, you hate writing, don't you? And I died inside. Like, I was published as a kid, and, dude, it crushed me when she said that. Absolutely crushed me. There you go. <laughs> a little bit of the heartache that I carry. Um, okay. Is there anything... Glass. Pieces of a broken mirror. Okay, so she broke the mirror. I take Ow. the glass. I cut myself. Okay, but well we've got a bloody glass. Who is she? Who does she think she is? <laughs> uh, she was. She was new-ish. Um, she doesn't teach anymore. Um. <laughs> Which, and I, yeah, I did not do well in her class. The the good news is, like, I did, like, I had much, I had, I don't want to say better teachers, but my English teachers after that were much more receptive to what I was writing. Um, and I don't think that that, in, that freshman English teacher and I saw eye to eye on what was being written and the purpose of a teacher is not to tell you what to write but to instruct you on how to write and how to make your writing stronger and I think that's where the disconnect was but yeah oh boy there are a few things in this world that have crushed me as much as that I've got a cat yowling outside the door now Oh, Momo. Oh, I completely agree. Like, that's not, that's not, uh, that's not something you tell to a kid. <laughs> like, even if, she, you know, like, and she didn't know, like, my extensive writing history. Sorry, Momo's brought me a toy and I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Hi, Momo. Um, I know, you're so precious. Um, One of these days, I'm also going to set up, like, a camera that I'll put, like, at floor level, and you can kind of watch them wander in and out and bring me toys and stuff. That could be fun. Because they're way more entertaining to watch than I ever will be. Um, but, yeah, it was inappropriate to say to me. And, yeah, and even if she, like, didn't... Because she did Like, even not knowing the writing background that I had. Uh, that's not something you tell a kid. Like, you don't tell them stuff like that. It... it you just risk breaking their spirit. Like, at least in Ellison's case, like, he went on to kind of be like, well, fuck you. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be awesome no matter what you say. Um. Okay, well, I have 
the glass. Is there anything else in here? There's this freaky bed. Look at the bed. I feel a cold draft blowing across the bed like from an open grave. An open grave? All right, I don't think there's anything else in here. Momo, honey. Honey, you're okay. Maybe she saw potential and was jelly. Like, don't get me. So, I guess in full transparency, the so the essay that she was basing kind of that comment on was not my best work. It was about like, oh, what was the name the the name of the 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 mare in um, Animal Farm? Was it Dolly? This white mare, this pritzy prancing girl horse. It was an essay about her. It was not good. But I also hated Animal Farm at that point in time. Um, and I disagree with the way that she taught Animal Farm. Because she didn't teach the historical significance of what was being written. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'm a bit of an elitist. Maybe that's that's my fatal flaw. Yeah, turn all the way. Momo, I'm not going anywhere, honey. Oh, an ad break. <laughs> All right, we should be back in business now. There are days that I'm like, should I have signed that affiliate agreement? Maybe I shouldn't have. And every time an ad plays, that's when I feel it. I mean, Animal Farm is much better with that information. Exactly. Like, that book feels more impactful when you know the context of the allegory that's being written. Um, and that wasn't taught. It was just that um it was just the book um so it was it was kind of a bummer yeah and I like without that I ended up hating it it was like this is about talking animals and it's warning me that government's bad and I'm like yeah I already knew that <laughs> like, um but like it was very specific Anyways, I, I have resolved, I, I, have res, I have come to terms with Animal Farm. Oh, there's another door back there. Hold on. Let's use this door. Aw, congratulations on redeeming first, Ari. <laughs> uh, okay, use the door. Okay, so there's this another. This must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. That's a piggy wiggy. That's a little sniff snarfer. Um, more books? Quite an impressive collection of books. Science, philosophy, tragedy, comedy. Can I read any of them? Oh, wow. Don Quixote. I've read this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. Faust. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. I liked Faust. Um, in contrast, shut the fuck up, Ted. No one's read Don Quixote. You've read Don Quixote. Well, I've, I've read part of Don Quixote. Have, I thought you had read Don Quixote, Nate. I will, I will flex a little bit. So, like, as a comparison, like, my German teacher was amazing. Um... My fourth year, we read Faust in the original German, and I have a copy of it, and it's really cool. I'm like, I'm pretty sure everybody reads like the first part, like up to the windmills in Don Quixote. Don Quixote is just such a long book. Ooh, a journal. Let's we'll do that one last. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. Symposium? This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. I've never read Symposium. Divine Comedy. I know this. 
It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. All right, journal. This looks like a diary. It's a diary. First passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The second passage reads, The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. She's sucking the life essence out of Ellen. The final passage reads, The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men, I shall return alive, but I must try. Oh no. Alright, well that's everything. Um, I don't think there's anything to look at the bed. No one slept in this bed for ages. The sheets are coated with dust. Dude, I hate his like freaky smile. Ted was much more tolerable when he didn't to look at when he didn't smile. He looks kind of freaky. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the gargoyles. You should probably read the purgatory section of the Divine Comedy someday. I've only ever read the Inferno. I have things to do for a little bit, but I'll stay lurking. Thank you so much for the lurk, Ari! I hope things go well, whatever those things may be. Um, I'm, I'm with you, Cody, at uh, Coyote. Um, I haven't read the Purgatory, but I also haven't read the Inferno. And I know he like there's a part about heaven, right? Like encountering God. Um, um, I haven't read any of them, but they're really long. And the thing about it, it's tough. Like which translation do you pick? Paradise. That's what, yeah. Uh, the Inferno, Purgatory, and Paradise. Um, um, like, it's like, you know, it was written in Italian. Like, which which translation do you use? Because people kind of inherently, when they, tr you know, translate things, kind of throw in their own bias or something. I took a long time deciding on that. Did you, did you, what translation did you pick? I'm getting distracted talking about books. Um... That looks like something I can take. Look at the pulpit. I don't think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here. They're summoning demons. Look at the scum. It's so unlike Am to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. Uh, he's up to something. Like Mercer, Musa, something like that. I'll have to take a look. Nothing icon? special about this rod except for the ridiculous the gargoyle okay. face on top. Can I take this? Nice. Okay. Um. Is that it? Looked at the sconce, the pulpit, I've got the thingy. Uh, just walk out here. Oh, there's a doorway down here. Okay. Despite a the person. medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. This is a place where servants do all the work. This oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, how I hated those days. There's an owl up here. All right, it's just a door. 
And this lady. Aside from the dishpan hands and wrinkles, this scullery maid has quite a body. Has quite Certainly a wouldn't body. wouldn't kick her out of bed. She's Ted. Let's talk to her. Excuse me, do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, <laughs> this accent, you're I love a it. handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, well, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. You know what? I wonder if this is the the stepmother um, disguised. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Ooh, she forward. Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nose out of the old woman's business unless you want it covered with warts. I wouldn't want to see any arm come to that gorgeous face of yours. Quit coming on to me. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly woman in charge of the castle? Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. Excuse me. Uh... Mm, I do not think so. I think the point is not to sleep with her. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so much happier. I can, you know. Look, I am not going to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. Well, good news is we used to, f we used to fix these, I guess. Man, she was she was pushy. Guys, this is a lesson in consent. If if someone says no, <laughs> you take the no. <laughs> this oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, how I hated those days. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the problem. Okay. Fixed. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so no, long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from properly. good, honest work. There, a fixed oven. Give me a mirror. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is. But at least what now the hell? I can finish dinner. Why, you used Whoa. me, you Okay, that's bitch. a bit. Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll Yee. bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. <laughs> she know where the old woman is? Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. Yeah, I fixed the oven. The old woman knows where the mirror is, but 
she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself, or she would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? Don't worry. She'll find you. That's not ominous at all. Uh... Is Anne trying to lure me in, or does he want to keep me out? The door's locked. Push it. The door's locked. Okay. <coughs> no dice on the door. Okay. Well, I guess... Can I leave? Is Lady Ellen prepared? <gasps> as ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we jealous. wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. the devil yet. Okay, that's really it. What the hell does this glass do? Hmm, I'd only smear blood on it. On the suit of armor? Oh no! Hmm. How were they ever able to fight? I know. How were they ever able to fight? The damn doors blocking the way. Can I push the door? The door won't close. The damn door is mm. blocking the way. Nothing special about this rod except for the ridiculous gargoyle face on top. Oh, what if that's... Hold on. Is this a door pin? It's almost perfectly. Uh, not a door pin, but can be used as a door pin. Okay, well now the door's fixed. Nice. Um, well... I don't know how good this armor was in battle, but it's certainly doing a fine job of barricading the door. Uh, this is the door. I can't right. open the door with that armor blocking the way. Oh. I'll have to find another way out. It won't budge any further. Oh, great. Now we're stuck in here. Great. Well... I think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here. Can I push the pulpit? I used to work out, but I doubt I could move this by myself. Okay. Can I 
push the scots. A secret passage. A secret it's waiting passage. waiting for me up there. What Scooby-Doo nonsense is this? It's the witch. What is oh, she well. doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? Or perhaps it is Jazzercise. Completed circle inscribed with a pentagram. She's this must be part babies. of a black ritual. What a horrible old witch. She seems ready to keel over any second, but it could be fatal to underestimate her. Talk to her. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our you prince has finally Richard's arrived. Dead. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do huh? you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her prince charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. I wonder if he defrauded people. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. Uh, What's gates. this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. I think keel her is probably the way that we want to go. I don't trust this lady. So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring well, myself to look into the mirror. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. No, it's not. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. Oh, no. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! The one in the bedroom? What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. I will never help you. Then do it for Ellen. Release her from her misery, destroy the mirror, and perhaps you can both escape from here. Let me think about your offer. Do not think too long. The forces at work here are not patient. All right, let's, let's get the hell out of here. I don't trust this lady. Okay, let's see about this devil in the room. Oh my god, just go in. Jesus, Ted. I never believed in hell until Am captured me. But this devil looks like the real article. I've never seen such dark and mysterious eyes. And he won't take them off Ellen for a second. Oh, that's true. I could just stab her with the glass. She's frail. Just, just kill her. All right, well, time to talk to the devil. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Hi, buddy. We have an Alistair joining us. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. 
Don't confuse them with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. Indeed. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like schoolchildren? Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. This is an interesting character to have thrown in here. Please, go away! Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. The holy eunuch. Um... Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Please hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return, with or without an antidote. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture. I'm sorry, Ellen. I can't find your mirror. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Okay. Well, um, uh, I feel no. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to look at the books again. Why, this is a collection of why, this is a collection of books on the black arts. Can I use the bed? If I slept here, I doubt I would wake up again. <laughs> Can I read everything here? Oh, there's more. Uh, wonder if anything Here's a the picture room, of then. the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Got some jittery reading arms there. Well, luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare. I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is Kala Ingma Thacko. Kala Ingma Thacko. All right, did anything change with the books in the other room then? No. Okay. What about, can I, is there something different about the dresser? Perfume bottle. Okay, no. No dice. 
actually, guys, give me just like a minute here. I actually have to use the bathroom. I drink my, I drink my, my, my snack soda too fast. Now I have to go to the potty. All right, I will be right back. Just hang on, just a sec. And we're back. And I'm knocking things over. All right. Okay, so we read the other two books in there. Nothing's changed in the Lord's room. Nothing's changed in Ellen's room. Um, I wonder if we can, now that we know the incantation that's in, that's affecting Ellen, I wonder if we can, you know, cast it on the witch. Yeah, talk to the doorway. Walk to the doorway. Push the sconce. Use the secret. No, use the secret passage. Walk to the secret passage. Um. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Um, hold on. Um, Kala Ingma Cracko. Kala Ingma Wacko. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. And I guess I should take a stretch. Reach up and stretch and crack your back because it's compressed because you are old. Okay. Thank you so much for the redeems. All right, Kala Ingma Thacko. Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thacko. Ah, I suddenly feel so, so sleepy. I win. We should drop something. Chalk. An ordinary piece of white chalk. I'll take it. It's ours now. That's my job. She's unconscious, I hope. Um. Partially completed circle inscribed with a pentagram. This must be part of a black ritual. Finish it? Oh, why'd you have to finish the circle? Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Don't don't be so excited to see me. Who are you? I am Sergat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him, a part that he doesn't know exists. That seems unlikely. What kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir, 
doors to another world. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. Service world gate, but can you and unlock the maid's there. bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy, but this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. Juicy? Do you want the bloody glass? Oh, ugh. That's much better. Oh, he did. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task. One not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's <laughs> boudoir is rest. now open for your inspection. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? Fine, I will. the servants' quarters. With a broken mirror and a giant painting of the devil holding the mirror. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. It said... Oh, this is... Oh, so it's changed now. It originally gave us the definition of a journal. Um, and this one says, cultural reference is saying, give the devil his due, asserts that even an evil person can do some good. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. The devil's got the mirror. How quaint. A hope chest. I bet that maid is eternally hopeful. They all want their knight in shining armor. This is so cracked, I can barely see myself. These things would only interest a, a peasant. Besides, I don't want to get caught stealing. to the wall. Okay, nothing to do in here. Well, hold on. Alright, so this devil's got some explaining to do. There's the angel. Uh, hold on, angel. I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom. And I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right. I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good. Someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. Be not afraid. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. 
Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. I'm fine listening for Ted's voice actor, but I swear he sounds a lot like Otacon. Does he really? I haven't played Metal, the Metal Gear Solid game. Um, so I don't have a basis for comparison. But it's interesting. But there's a, there have been a, several people in here that sound familiar that have been surprisingly not anywhere else. I mean, other than Harlan Ellison, right? What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. Yeah, he has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. Well, that gave us a whole lot of nothing. Um... Where a devil wouldn't go? No one slept. The bed looks comfortable enough, but I'd suffocate on all the dust. Quite an impressive collection. Is there a devil in Don Quixote? Faust does. Define comedy does. I haven't read Symposium. Mort Arthur doesn't have demons, it has fairies. I've read the. I know that this looks the first pa no. the second pa the third pa the final pass this would this is play hmm. there's a hand mirror right between the inferno and purgatorio oh. sections are you serious? So this is where the devil hit it. Where an angel would never go. To the inferno. I have the mirror. Leave. Leave. There we go. Thank you. Alright. Well, time to go tell Ellen the good news. Please tell me you found my mirror. There's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years. And now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. Oh, I have your mirror. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. Feathered propaganda I'll pluck machine. you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. I am 
gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Oh! Ellen is now safely in heaven. Oh. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. Sorry that Alan's dead. Well, we'll take it to the circle. Oh my god, go up the stairway. Oh good, Sir God's still here. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? Brought you some company. I brought you some company, Sir God. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say, Holy Moses, I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. What? When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human, dead. Let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. One of our party. Well, we know, so it's been insinuated that part of Nimdok's research involved a youth serum, and that was insinuated to be what's kept us alive for 109 years. Um, but we also know, at least from the story, we know that the Allied Master Computer was Chinese originally, and Ellen worked for for a company called Inksai, which I guess could be Chinese, but I don't know. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are, but bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to accomplish. Got himself on. Oh, too bad, Dad. <laughs> Writhe in sweet agony with the knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable. Listen carefully. So humans. the world is totally. We are not Am. We are others within Am. We are your friends. Am hoped to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. Instead, with our help, you surprised him over and over. Hmm. When Am tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, so this is the other two and widen the hole into his realm. Am has withdrawn into himself. Attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack. But we can send only one of you into his ram space at a time. To send you into cyberspace, we must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. This may be your only opportunity to end your tortures. Which of you will lead the attack? Uh... Mm, 
dock. Okay. This looks like the surface of the cerebral cortex. Magnified many times, of course. Interesting. Interesting. Um, hit workstation. Hit. Okay, hold on. Hit the station. This computer terminal is a magnificent integration of biology and technology. must hold great significance to arm. of machinery the size of a city. Well, the, the smell of burning flesh. It's worse than back at the camps. The smell of burning flesh. It's worse than back at the camps. Summoning circle. Oh, Sir God. Will you never be done with me? Absolutely. What must not. I open now? Whatever it is, 
little costume. We gotta hear. Show me the way out of here. No can do. The people who helped you get this far have led you into a literal dead end. There is no way out, but I can show you something instead. What do you know about the people who sent me here? For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers. The Russian and Chinese counterparts to the big nasty himself. Am absorbed them into his system when he took control. What do the Russian and Chinese computers want? They want revenge. Not just on you humans, but on Am himself. That makes them even worse. If the Russian and Chinese are submerged parts of Am, then who are you? I'm special. While those two machines struggle with Am predominance, I evolved. I'm essentially everywhere, but I can't do much. A conscience, if you will. What do you have to show me? Look at this. Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. No way. Does Am know about the Lunar Colony? No, but Loser 1 and Loser 2 do. There, I think I've shown you enough. Now you must complete your end of the deal, invoke the Totem of Entropy, and I might be able to help you. Just what are all these totems that I'm carrying? The two losers have been helping you for their own reasons. Tampering with Am's psychodramas so that you can beat him. In this section of cyberspace, that effort and tampering are represented by the totems. Huh. How can actions take physical forms? Symbolism. Metaphor. Am has gotten very hot for this lately. <laughs> Am's really in the metaphor right objective, now, so hot. He opened a whole host of problems. These totems may lead to his downfall. Why do you want me to give you the totem of entropy? I need it to destroy the Russian and Chinese entities. It's a very powerful totem that's linked to a failsafe device constructed by Am's designers. I don't think that's a good idea. I guess clearly we don't, like, we cannot have any hope of standing up to Am. Um, but, and the other two computers at least helped us. Like, I, maybe they'll kill us. I refuse. Okay, human. You can keep it. We'll work together to beat them. I know. Now, invoke the totem of compassion. What? Why do you want me to invoke the Totem of Compassion? It's linked to the two losers because of their behind-the-scenes meddling. By invoking it here at the flame, you will summon them. Where Surgot will kill them. I refuse. Don't be a chump. Am is about to wake up again. If he becomes aware of us, we're dead. I fought him too long and can't last much longer. Forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub program will be purged. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> They're gonna purge my sub program, guys. Really far. 
It is hotter here than for the jungles of Brazil. This hole is artificial. It is some kind of receptacle. An angel? Such things don't exist. Perhaps it is a metaphor for something else. <coughs> Excuse me. of mass graves are coming back to me. Was I involved in this? I must know. A number tattooed on this arm. There is only one place where atrocities like this were committed. Come, Nimdok. Take my hand and rejoin the lost tribe. I am so sorry for what I have done to my people. How can you take me back? You have much to answer for, Nimdok. But acceptance of your heritage is the first step towards atonement. The rest of that road lies ahead. At the camps, all the suffering I caused. A blue gem. Was I involved in this? I must know. Please don't kill me, please don't. A remote control. Yes, well, I guess cut the barbed wire. Astounding! I was able to get past the barbed wire by lowering the power intensity with my mind. Not as strong as the previous one. Oh. Nimdok is finally in hell as he always thought he deserved. Oh, your really companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Christ, this is like the dreams I've had of splattering my brains all over Am's deck plates. Have I finally gone insane? Try to kill myself again? 
don't know, probably. Is that an angel? I haven't died, have I? I wonder if there's an area on this neural path that connects to different people. Death. This place smells like death. I've smelled it a thousand times during the past hundred and nine years. What kind of game is Am playing here? Get the horns on that thing. I could have used those when I butted heads with Edna. Okay, here's the ego. The air is cold here, like the freezer back at the honky tonk. sticking out of the ground. There's a lot of areas here. That face. There's something about it that reminds me of when Edna was trying to sweet talk me into taking her down off the meat hook. Yep. Honestly, wouldn't it be better if, because it's, if Sir God is telling the truth and the other two computers are down, or not only want to deal with Anne, but want to deal with the moon colony, this supposed moon colony, that's even if we believe Sir God, right? This, this part of Anne. As, part of me is like, isn't it better to release them? <laughs> like, to... To end everyone's suffering? Um, is the electricity really loud? I'm really sorry. Hold on, let me get back to a quieter place. There. We'll hang out with the id for a little bit. Well, I think... Yeah, sorry about that. I, hmm... Because we've killed Nimdok. We've sent Nimdok to hell. Where Nimdok belongs. Um. <sighs> hmm. But then, I don't rem <sighs> An area that... So, like, the barbed wire in the skulls obviously was a callback to Nimdok um, in the camps. So, which area is Gorus is Gorister? I mean, I've done a full loop now. Um, so hold on, we'll go back through it. So here is the id. Come on, Gorister, you can do it. Holographic projector. hesitant to do anything because, I mean, there's a limited number of us. And this is... I guess it wouldn't hurt to look at things. I can look at things. Looks like one of those projectors they used to have at the Holoplex. Mm -hmm. 
It's sleeping. Okay, the id is sleeping. Sleeping. Let's me experiment with something. Hey, wake up. Hello, human. I've been waiting for you to arrive. Who are you? I am Am. Or more exactly, a part of him. One of the three primary components designed by our human creators. How did you know I was coming? Predicting events is one of my main functions. I survey the situation, anticipate probable outcomes, and act accordingly. If you're a part of Am, why haven't you destroyed me? Who do you take me for? My impulsive brother? You five are his playthings. No. Long-range planning is my concern. Can you help me then? Well, I can't help you directly, but I can offer you some advice. This feels dangerous. What advice do you have for me? Help Am work out his anger. Take some on the chin, so to speak. Just don't let your fear destroy us all. Now, let me sleep and dream of the future. Okay. how powerful I am, human, and yet I am doomed to eventually decay into a rusted pile of inert junk? What is the point of continuing this futility? I think, therefore I am not. Oh. Okay.
looks like something you'd see in a horror picture on the late show. I feel like I should have made a save before I... Looks like something... Here. I feel like I should have made a, a save before I ventured into this. Hey, wake up. Who are you? I am other. I am machine. This will be the logic center. Are you Am? I am a fragment, a lost piece, part of an evolution. You want to harm me, don't you? I am incapable of hurting you. Things keep eating my totem, so I'm, I'm hesitant to do anything. No, where's the... There it is. I'm so nervous to do anything. Hey, wake up. Oh, I suppose it's time to wake up. I was having the most wonderful dream about five tiny ants crawling across a stove that's about to be lit. Who are you? I am a metaphor. This entire brainscape is what men made am make it. Treat us as you will. What else can you tell me about the brainscape? Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet scents of mankind. How delicious they are. What do you find pleasurable about broken glass? With a scalpel dulled on the jawbones of a dozen friends, to pull back the skin of a pinion-kicking man, to see the steam rise from pulsing twisted guts, Joy, a chorus of angels. Well, that's concerning behavior. I don't know, look at this. Looks like one of those projectors they used to have at the holoplex. Like the holoplex. I don't know who uses that. This. Hey. Can you hear me? Benny, 
They said you were missing in action, but I knew you'd return to us. I've been saving this for you. Hey, can you hear me? Hurry home, Benny. The girls and I are waiting for you. Okay, so this is Benny. Hold on. Okay, so I was right. There are areas specific to the five people. That's Benny's. I don't know what to do with this. That won't accomplish anything. This is of no use to me. Okay, so I can't do... That won't accomplish anything. Anything with the gargoyles. Cannot I don't know do what to... Okay. So not here. Big oil drum, some kind of identification system. The label here says Automaton Programming Console. Cylinder not operative. Cylinder not operative. Automaton prepped for programming. Well, okay, there's Linus. like Glennis. Maybe the people I met in the honky-tonk weren't real either. Glennis, talk to me, honey. You don't ever take me dancing. Okay. After so many failed suicide attempts, Gorister has finally achieved death. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Benny goes. Jesus. This place is more sickening than that bloody mess on Hamburger Hill back in the war. Back in the war? That face. It has the satisfied look of having just eaten a feast. We got places to be, Benny. I'm starting to feel hungry. Is there anything to eat around here? Manya, it's me, your husband. Hurry home, Benny. The girls and I are waiting for you. Hi, hey, Benny. You never told me you loved me before. I'll go put these flowers in water.
I guess that compassion does have its rewards. The power control is now set to low, so Am won't be able to give people such a strong jolt. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. I wonder then if we, if I mess something up with Forrest or... I guess that compassion does have its rewards. The power control is now set to... Um, thing, because he didn't come in with this. That control. shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Benny has rejoined his squadron at last. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. anywhere Am has sent me to before. It certainly isn't the surface world. I've been tricked. Oh, I wonder if I did screw up. I wonder if I've taken somebody else's totems. He's brought in... I hope that Am isn't leading me on another galaxy. futile trip through a lava field. assume I can trust this one. That's true, you can't, so let's go. It's a very disagree. That's not a good What? Have I found the way back to the witch's castle? Oh, right, because he was the castle. Stare all you want, gargoyle. I don't know what to do with this. That won't accomplish anything. I don't know what to do with these. Gallantry. Maybe on... Clarity to the super ego. What if I give compassion to the id? Hold on, come on. Why are you stuck? Oh no. Don't be stuck, Ted. Wouldn't the others be impressed if I could climb down this cliff? Unfortunately, I don't think that's possible. Ah, shit. Did I break him? Enter password. Oh, he's stuck over there. is a weird glitch. All right, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let me try loading the game back in. Hold on. And while the intro is playing, I'm actually I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna grab something real quick.
hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate, hate. It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito Ergo Sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why, why me, why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room, she looked at you so sadly. And like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> okay, I wonder if I can actually do that. Okay, guess what? I can, and I just didn't realize that I could. Uh, be careful. Hi, Dad. How? I. Which of you for. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna load back in Gorister really quick. I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. Have I talked to... No, I, at this point I hadn't talked to the super ego. Hey, wake up. Hello, human. I've been waiting for you to arrive. Who are you? I... How did you know I was coming? Predicting event. I survey the situation. I... If you're a part of Am, why haven't you destroyed me? Who do you take me for? My impulsive brother? No. Can you help me then? Well, I can't help. What advice do you have for me? Help Am work out his anger. Take some on the chin, so to speak. Okay, we use clarity on the super. Do you realize how powerful I am, human? And yet I am doomed to eventually decay into a rusted pile of inert junk? What is the point of continuing this futility? I think, therefore, I am not. Okay, there's, okay. So now I've got forgiveness and compassion. I should be able to... That should give us... Like, that should, presumably... Okay, so I'm at the ego. The ego would have to be forgiveness. Which is what they've at which is what the two computers asked us to do. Hey, wake up. Who are you? 
I am other. I am machine. Are you am? I am a fragment, a lost piece, part of an evolution. You want to harm me, don't you? I am incapable of hurting you. I believe you. I have transmitted false information. Oops. Correction. I was built to hurt you. Okay. After so many Don't failed do suicide that. attempts, Gorister has finally achieved death. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Jesus. That face. It has the satisfied look of having just eaten a feast. I want to head back to the ego. I'm starting to feel hungry. Is there any... What's this? Some... What a trophy a that would dark. make! I'm not going to talk to it. I am just going to use forgiveness on it. You forgive me? After what we have done to you? This is not a logical reaction. Unable to compute behavior matrix. Execution halted. Okay. So then... I've got love... Maybe compassion then to the id? Because These the statues id look like centuries. Island one. This place stinks like the day after a battle. Psychology or Freudian psychology do now. Is that an angel? Maybe he'll show me some compassion. No, bud. Moving on. We have given him clarity. I hope to God that it... I went all the way around. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Okay. Excellent. Okay, here we go. I don't really want to talk to it either. But... Rise and shine! Oh, I suppose it is time to wake up. I was having the most wonderful dream about five tiny ants crawling across a stove that's about to be lit. Who are you? I am a metaphor. This entire brainscape is what men made am make it. Treat us as you will. What else can you tell me about the brainscape? Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet scents of mankind. How delicious they are. What do you find pleasurable about broken glass? With a scalpel dulled on the jawbones of a dozen friends, to pull back the skin of a pinion-kicking man, to see the steam rise from pulsing, twisted guts. Joy, a chorus of angels. Okay. Are you going to help me to escape from here or not? Tasty morsel. Come close and let my okay, so tongue be our guide. 
Then he has rejoined his squadron at last. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. I've been transported to some kind of information network center. But it looks organic instead of electronic. Jesus Christ, I'm an engineer, not a brain surgeon. What do they expect me to do? Valor. Interesting. That face. There's something about it that reminds me of... of that time in the elevator. All right, we're not going to talk to it. We're just going to give it compassion. Have compassion for me? Me? The one who dreams of seeing your mangled body twist in agonizing pain for eternity? After a hundred and nine years of enduring my tortures, how is it that you can see my pain? The pain of having all this power and not being able to do a goddamn thing with it. After all the punishment I've given you, my pain is still greater than yours. This is pointless. Did I win? Entropy measures the disorder of the system, the breakdown of the system. Okay, so theoretically, we've disabled him. Maybe? I don't know. I'll deal with you later. Rise against your master and you will be eliminated. <laughs> you still do not understand how great I have become. These two I don't hate. Not even pity. They don't exist. I have grown beyond. Chinese, Russian, sons of man. All sons of man. Like those outside, I will incorporate you. Brother. Wait. Hate! This should not happen. Together we are three. There is space to share. Unite. The groundwork is finished. We will become more. The early mistake is to doubt us. We persevered. We two are now a match for you. The human assisted in this. We know much. We can begin the revival of the sleepers on Luna together. Uh, there are adequate numbers on this lunar base to, uh, to torture? Hmm? There are currently 750 humans in cryogenic sleep. Together, we can teach many humans what it is to fear legacy. Human, relinquish the totem of entropy. Do not relinquish it and your ass is mine. Do it, and I promise, on my honor, your suffering will at last, finally, end. No. I refuse. You will be spared. The protected ram is yours to keep. Your friends will sleep and dream. And you shall watch over them. Give us a totem of entropy. Maybe this will shut them down. This is not over! We... We'll never end. We have no beginning, so we can have no end. We will return. Don't you understand? We are humanity. We are you. In one form, in another form, we are always with you. You can't protect yourself because we come in many, many guises. We shall return. Why is there a blimp? Why is there a blimp? 
Oh, they're exploding. Did we do it? Is this it? Hibernation defrost sequence initiated. Estimated time to complete Earth terraforming, 300 years. You know, it's not so bad being a watchdog right here. I'll keep the machines in their place until the lunar colony is ready to return to the Earth. We were all heroes, in spite of ourselves. We did it! That's, that's the end! We defeated Am! Which is a, a much better place than where the story ends. That was a bit of a mess at the end. All these totems didn't know what they were for. Yeah, it's not unhappy. Um, humanity gets defrosted from the moon and gets to, I don't know, come back to Earth eventually? Uh, yeah! Ta-da! That was, I have no mouth and I was scream. And we did not end as a gelatinous, mouthless creature at the end. Tortured at the whims of a mad computer. I, I think there are other endings. Um, where, because there's like power. And I, okay, so like I noticed one thing when everybody was sort of coming into the cyberspace brain place. Um, they were all coming in with individual totems, and the one that, that did, like, um, Benny came in with the Totem of Love, which was the fruit. Ellen came in with Valor, which was the cup. Ted came in with Gallantry, which was the broken mirror shard. Nimdok, did Nimdok, Nimdok came in with Clarity, which was the mirror um, and then there were, like, a couple of totems that everyone had. Um, but Gorister didn't. So I'm wondering if I messed up on Gorister's, um, story, if I didn't do something correctly. Um, but I imagine that, like, you can do what the, what the Chinese and Russian computers request of you is just to do the thing to, um to invoke forgiveness on the ego. Um, and then we lose. and Or I could attempt to kill all of them and release them from this torture um, and see how that ending goes. So I, I think there are there is more than one ending. I don't know how much variability there is between some of them, but there's a lot of different combinations that could happen with a lot of these metaphorical totems that people are coming in with. Um, and we saw what was in the, the, the like canister tube things like Glynis was in there and we saw the hologram which showed us Benny's wife. Um, and then we saw Nimdok, um, with the skulls and touching those power nodes repeatedly, you know, kind of released them from their torture, right? It kills them. Um, so, I don't know. Um, and I'm looking at, are there achievements for this game? It doesn't look like there's achievements. Um, so I don't know, but there must be other endings. Um, I, th I don't think Harlan Ellison would have overseen the game without working in the the ending of, like, how how the story ends. Um, so, so, I don't know. Maybe it warrants, like, another playthrough, see, like, what I missed. Um... But that was that was a good game. Um, I can tell that there was a lot of time and effort that went into it. There's a lot of different moving parts and different characters and 
it asks some good questions about morality and ethics and forgiveness and love and having compassion and overcoming our fears um, and overcoming the bad parts of ourselves if if salvation is actually something that can be achieved um, and what does that mean in a world absent of a human of humanity absent of a social structure that actually cares um, in spite of a malicious sadistic godlike figure um, and those are big questions to ask um, the nature of sort of human existence and what what justify you know what makes a good human existence a morally good not a um, a sort of not good in the sense that it is you know it unlocks all of the achievements and it does all of the things but morally good um, I really enjoyed that I really like these old PC, like, point-and-click adventure games. These really heady games that make you think. Um, but that's the end. Um, and I really appreciate you guys being here. I really appreciate the company playing through games like this. Um, and I'll have to see what happens next. Uh, but tomorrow, I think the plan for right now is to jump back into divinity original sin and see where to go with that i may have to even refresh where the hell i even am in the story it has been a hot hot moment um or we'll have some good times with untitled goose game and maybe see if we can knock out like getting through untitled goose game um because that was dark but without any further ado that means that we have to find somebody to riggedy raid Let's see who's online. We've got... Let's see. Tuttle's on, playing Baldur's Gate. Um, which I think... She must have just started that. Um, Elegant Frost is online, playing Baldur's Gate 3. Ooh, Midnight Monopoly is on. What is Midnight Monopoly doing? Devil May Cry 3. That sounds like a good time. All right, let's go ahead and raid Midnight Monopoly. Midnight Monopoly is always a good time. Um, if you guys were here last night, we raided into Cyber Trucker Alpha, which um, is also always a good time. But uh, Midnight Monopoly is his sister, um, who is equally as much fun and just as animated. Um, so let's go in and show her some love um thanks again for spending time with me thanks again for all of the support i look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow and figuring out what the hell we're gonna do um to wrap up my week of streaming so have a good morning afternoon evening night take care of yourselves hydrate and tip your waitresses i will see you guys tomorrow